Hey, it's Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk. Let's talk. Have you ever been lucky enough to work with people, a group of people or a couple of people that made your life much better when you were at work? They made your day brighter. They were there, you know, you talked to them, you bitched them, you complained about this and that, you talked about the boss, you talked shit about the boss. Stuff that just lets you vent and get it out of your system. And what happens when they leave and the impact that they have on you and how do you really know about it until they're gone? Therein <clears throat> lies the question. So I, <laughs> I call this separation duration because they ain't coming back. So now we have to learn how to separate ourselves from them in that manner, keeping them as friends on the outside, but from that workplace fun and game situation. Let me tell you a scenario that happened here. So um, lucky enough to work with a guy, we'll call him Sheldon. The names have been changed to protect the lives of the innocent here. So we'll call him Sheldon. He, his last day was last week. And so Sheldon was impactful. Really, he was a nice looking guy, smooth, good with the ladies, you know, uh, really could talk. He could make things work for himself. Um, but he was also a lot of fun. And Sheldon and Glenn, so Glenn is a guy, I still work with Glenn. He drives around on a golf cart, waving to people like he's Santa Claus or Queen Elizabeth, not sure which one it is. But, uh, and he always has a, a small bottle of cologne in his vest pocket to spritz on so that he's always ready to be uh, available for those, uh, those uh, moments when someone might have to ask him a question. And by someone, I mean a woman, okay? Uh, in case you didn't get that. So that's that, so we got Glenn. Then we have a guy, we'll call him Alan. Alan's got a hot body of that, but eventually Alan starts talking and then you just want to kill yourself and him. But uh, nice guy, sweet guy, whatever. But yeah, you know, holy moly. Um, but I've always told Alan that. And he probably feels the same way about me. Um, yeah, the only thing that's missing there is that, well, actually, I, I have a hot body in some realm. So anyways, just carry on. I'm going to tell you, though, what happens. We, and I'm Dusty. My name is Dusty. I am not Diane because I had to change the names, right? So I am not Diane. I am Dusty. So just, I'm just follow the plot here. So here we are, you know, we have break together lunch and we also have lunch with this innocent, innocent woman. We'll call her Gidget. So Gidget is the one person who, when I worked in close proximity to her, instead of saying fuck, I'd say holy moly. And Gidget was really uber cool. So Gidget at one time, so one time, uh, Sheldon, uh, Gidget, um, myself, this other guy, we'll call him Andrew Jeet, and uh, the boss, who was Bob Jeet, he, we all worked in the same office, and Tootsie, right? Tootsie was a, uh, a firecracker, right? Uh, from Newfoundland, uh, you know, fuck, fuck, fuck. And her and I together was like paradise for people who need to go into, you know, swearing anonymous. So, uh, but, uh, so Tootsie left, Bob Jeet left, um, Andrew Jeet left. And Andrew Jeet is the sweetest guy. We still talk. I mean, bear in mind, uh, we, I, all of us keep in touch. I talk to these people. Bob Jeet even bought me a cat for Christ's sake. Because after my cat died, I was so sad. And and then when I told, ah, yeah, I'm ready to get a cat, then he bought me a cat. I mean, that was pretty cool, right? That's a once in a lifetime thing that you don't forget. And I, I will never forget. And I will never forget that uh, Tootsie found the cat. Bob G bought the cat. And um, she's my baby, my fluffy. So yeah, she's a rescue cat and she, they rescued me. I don't forget kindnesses like that from people at all. And the same with Sheldon, right? So Sheldon's gone, but his uh, his memory will always live on. And then I'm still got Glenn with his uh, spritzing and his driving around the golf cart. And then I've got Alan with his, you know, nice to look at, but I want to kill you. Uh, but, you know, I have to try to be better at that because I am sure people want to kill me uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, sometimes I want to kill me for a variety of reasons. So what I'm trying to say here is, there are some really wonderful people in your life, in all of our lives. Make sure that you take the time to realize it because when they're gone, they're gone. And even though you take, holy moly, you talk and keep in touch, it's not the same as seeing them every day. And uh, like, thank God I still have Glenn and Alan. And uh, yeah, but other than that, you know, Dusty is kind of rusty without all my other support system. I miss Bob G, I miss Andrew G, I miss Tootsie.
Gidget's there too. Gidget is uber cool. But, you know, again, with Gidget, like I, I'm always on my best behavior. So that takes a lot out of me, just so you know. To everyone <laughs> I mentioned, you need to know, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support you show me. You're always there for me. And Bobji, you're the one person I will tell you, I can look you right in the face or right now and tell you, I will never in my entire life forget the kindness you show me, not just with the cat, but in a lot of things as well. And uh, yeah, Tootsie and all of you, get, you're all there. So yeah, it's a once in a lifetime thing to have someone buy you a cat because they care about you that much. And uh, I care about you too and all of you guys. Take care, this is Diane from Diane Talk Real Talk. Hopefully your workplace is as wonderful as mine is with the people. Take care.